Thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. The battle to save the eliminated UNM sports teams continues at the Roundhouse. Last summer, it was Regents and the President calling the shots on the topic. But today, lawmakers were in charge, and some of them are frustrated with the President's unwillingness to seek help. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen reports from Santa Fe. The committee room was packed of supporters of the ski, men's soccer, and beach volleyball teams. And a lot of the representatives on the committee are also fighting to save these sports. At one point during today's hearing, the chair of the House Appropriations of Finance asked UNM's president why she was refusing the help. I am the Appropriations Chairman, for goodness sakes. And if it's a resource issue, wouldn't I be the appropriate one to work with? House Appropriations and Finance Committee Chair Patty Lundstrom was cut off during the UNM Board of Regents hearing back in July when the Regents decided to eliminate men's soccer, beach volleyball and skiing. She was one of several lawmakers to speak at the Regents meeting saying thanks to a revenue surplus, lawmakers would likely help UNM save the sports. But the Regents, even after reconvening on the topic, stuck with their decision to cut the sports teams to reconcile a debt in the athletics department. Today, UNM President Garnett Stokes again stood by the decision not to seek help from the legislature. The amount of funding that we needed, I knew was too great for me to ask for from you, given what I knew were higher priorities at our institution. Still, lawmakers have filed House Bill 320, which would give UNM $2 million to reinstate the programs. The bill also requires UNM to be transparent about the sports funding. Today's hearing did not end with any action on the bill. It was simply a venue for discussion and public comment. It went on for more than four hours today, and while Chair Lundstrom says she was disappointed in the response from UNM, she says she was pleased with the show of support from the student-athletes. Jeannie Nguyen, CARE News 13. And tonight on News 13 at 10, we hear from those students as they plead with lawmakers to save their programs.